everyone, today's video is actually going to be a DIY on how I made this Prada Marpa sign. It's just been creeping in the background of all my videos on that wall back there, and a lot of people have been asking me how I made it, and when I was actually making this, I made it, I don't know, like in August, I think. I actually had started to film some of me making it, but then I just never finished, but I still have a lot of the footage and um, it's just been sitting on my memory card, so I thought I would show you how I made this Prada Marfa sign. This sign is actually on a piece of wood. Um, it was a canvas that was already painted on and it just got hand me down from a couple of roommates that I lived with. It just never got taken with them, so um, I didn't like what was on here, so I actually painted over it. So um, yeah, it's actually like two inches deep and it's actually like very sturdy, so that's why I chose this as my canvas. Right now it actually does have a little bit of a stain on it because when I moved, um, my printer ink spilled all over this in the U-Haul. That's another reason why I never finished it because it got wrecked, so I just have to paint over that. But um, you can use a canvas for this, you can make it smaller, bigger, whatever. I know Costco does print out um, prints on canvas, but it was kind of like retail for like $300. Like it was expensive and I really, really wanted a Prada Marva sign. I just it's like my love with Gossip Girl. I just love it. So um, this essentially cost me no money because I had all the paint at home. I had all the tools at home. Um, so I'm just going to show you how I made this puppy. So for my canvas, I just used this old one that was lying around my house. I didn't like what was on it anymore and I thought that it would be perfect for this. I really liked the deep edge and I thought that would be an awesome little addition to it. So that's what I used. Some of the supplies that I was using was ceiling paint. I just found some like, sandpaper around my house. I needed a roller, um, this little sanding sponge, uh, and a paint tray. I also taped a garbage bag onto my deck so I didn't make a mess because my mom would have got mad at me. So I had to sand my painting down because it was already painted on and so I used this aluminum oxide sandpaper and it was the roughest sandpaper I could find in my garage. So I just wrapped it around this, I don't know what it is, a sanding sponge and just began to sand down the paint. And I made sure that it was really smooth and then I gave it a wash down to get rid of any of the dust. The paint I used I found in my garage and it was the Benjamin Moore ceiling paint. It was just really thick and so opaque so I used that and I also was working with a really small roller because I found that I had a lot of precision with it. So I just began to paint it really white. As you can see this paint is so opaque. painting and I also paid special attention to the edge because I wanted to keep that black edge around it. I thought it was really neat. I did two or three coats I think. I just wanted it to be really really thick and I didn't want to see any of the leftover painting underneath so I made sure that it was completely covered. I also played around with the texture of the paint and rolled my roller really slowly because I wanted to mimic an actual canvas so you can see here the texture of it. And a fly got in the paint and I felt so bad for him I didn't know what to do. <laughs> He's so cute. For my letters I printed out the Prada Marfa just on Word and then I printed out a couple of sizes just to determine which one would look best and I actually went with the smaller one that I printed out. I cut all them out with an X-Acto knife and lined them up on my floor and actually put a piece of tape over top of each of the letter just so it would stay lined up so I didn't have to finick around with it. So for the actual painting part, I used some brushes, some tape, some water, some pencils, a ruler, and some acrylic paint. And the reason I used that piece of tape on the top, now you can see it was just a lot easier to line up and position on the canvas. So all I did was just line up the Prada, the Marfa, and the rest of it until I liked where I put it. I put it, I didn't relate it to any picture, I just placed it where I thought I liked it. After I liked where I had them placed, I then used the ruler to measure them and make sure that they are completely straight on the canvas. Once they were all straight, I took another piece of tape and placed it on the bottom of each letter to hold it down and secure it while I traced. 
It was also very windy that day, as you can see from my piece of hair, so it kept it in place while I traced it. And then, about an hour later, I was done tracing it all. I just used this old acrylic black paint that I had from high school, it was old, I got it in my art kit in high school, and I just began to paint every letter um, with the black paint. And then my Prada sign was complete. I'm so proud of this. It does have an ink stain that I still have to cover, but I thought I would get this video out. So yeah, I'm literally in love with this sign. enjoyed this video um, it wasn't much footage but it'll sort of get you off your feet um, it's a DIY project you can do it however you want you can make it this big larger however you want you can add color to it whatever this is how I did it and I love it so I will see you guys later bye